Good afternoon and welcome to All Things Newark. I'm Karen Dinkins, your host, and the New Yorkers are coming. The New Yorkers are coming. The New Yorkers are coming to the Forest Hill section of Newark. The Forest Hill section is a historic area that's known for its rich architecture and it shines very brightly as one of the crown jewels of Newark. And this young lady here, Katherine Longendike, has written a book aptly titled Forest Hill. She's lived in the area for many, many years, and she's going to tell us all about her experience and her book. But I'd like you to know something. Right now, we are in the Sydenham House. This is the oldest private residence in New Jersey. And we have the privilege and honor of being here in this house and speaking with Kathy. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. Tell me about growing up in the Forest Hill section of Newark. What was that like? It was just any other neighborhood. You mm -hmm. know, we didn't think we were anything special. You had a range from lower middle class, middle class, upper class, a lot of different ethnic backgrounds. Okay. Totally mixed neighborhood. We had fun. It was just a very normal, suburban type childhood. Okay. Now, why did you write the book on the Forest Hill section? Tell me how all of that came about. Well, the publisher, which is Arcadia Publishing, they, in the course of investigating different areas to write books about, they found out about Forest Hill in Newark. And they contacted our community association, the Forest Hill Community Association, and they said, we'd be interested in publishing a book on Forest Hill. So the community association, knowing that Kathleen and I had done the book on Branch Brook Park, approached me and said, would you be interested in doing this book? Okay. And one of your, um, I guess, sections of the book, Ghost of Mansions Past. Yes. That kind of broke my heart. Yes, it, it hurts all of us who are interested in historic preservation uh, to think of these wonderful homes that have been torn down, um, either because they're too old, they're too old fashioned. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't kind of taste that. change, but you have to respect your past. Mm -hmm. So tell me about historic preservation and why that is so important. It is the backbone of the neighborhood. It's the fabric of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to remember your past as well as living in the present. But they don't build homes with character anymore. You know, nowadays, if they build a housing complex, mm -hmm. no matter how upscale it is, out in the suburbs, the homes all look alike. They all look the same. Yeah. Or you know, they might have three different styles that they've scattered through the whole area. When the Heller family was developing Forest Hill, they built all these hundreds of homes, and they're all different. And that's what I love yeah. about this area as a real estate agent. I yeah. really do. They're all just different, and they all have their own charm and character. It's and there's all different styles. Now, I had mentioned earlier that the New Yorkers are coming. Like, right now, all right. of my clients are from New, York, from New York. Why do you think this area appeals to them? You've grown up here, like, all your life. What do you think some great things about New York? I think that it's very, it, it's a, on a smaller scale than, for instance, New York City, it's very cosmopolitan. We have residential areas, we have a downtown business district, we have an art center, we have a sports arena, we even have a minor league baseball stadium. The, the commuting possibilities are endless. So it's like, but you can park your car on the street without the hassles of New York City. Oh yes, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so true. I used to live in um, Brooklyn and I got so many tickets. Alternate side <laughs> yes. of the street parking. Absolutely, right. absolutely. So now, we're at the Sydenham House, and Stephen Olivier, the owner, has graciously allowed us to tour this national landmark. This is like a landmark. I'm so excited. So let's go take a look at the first floor, which is much different than this contemporary room that we're in right now, because on the first floor, they are not allowed to do certain things. Stephen is going to talk to us about that 
but they have more free reign on the second floor that has a bit more modern feel. So let's go and check out some of the details on the first floor. You ready? Ready. Let's go. With me right now is Stephen Olivier, and he is the new owner of the Sydenham House. And you've only been here like a few months, right? Since October. Okay, and you came from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you move from Brooklyn to New Jersey? Uh, we've got a growing family. Uh, when we moved to Brooklyn, we bought a, uh, a three-bedroom that seemed giant at the time, but uh, with two kids, it very quickly filled up, and, okay. uh, and they're very active kids. So we needed room to roam and a yard, which has been fantastic. Okay. Now, when you were looking for a house, did you think about, oh, I'm going to move to a national landmark? How did all of that come about? Yeah, Newark was not on our radar at all. Mm -hmm. uh, we were looking all over Brooklyn and Queens. Um, but a friend turned us on to this neighborhood, and you know, once we saw what was here, it was you know, really hard to resist. Uh, the homes were beautiful, they all had tons of space, and um, yeah, it's been, it's been a great experience so far. Okay, so what is it like um, living in a house that's really, this? I feel like I'm in a museum. In this national landmark, it was built like in 1712. Yeah, you know, the moment we walked in, we knew that we had to live here. I've you always had loved. That I've always loved you know, the, um, the the uh, period rooms at museums. Mm -hmm. I spend hours in there, just sort of like imagining the life in, in a place like that. Uh, and you know, it's like sleeping and waking up in one of those rooms, every one of those houses, every every day. Now, Stephen, your house is um, it's a landmark. It's a historic house. It's listed on the National Register. Now, did you have to do your homework to know what all of that meant? And if you want to tell us what does that mean? It basically means that we can't change anything on the first floor, uh, except maybe paint color with permission. Uh, the windows, all the woodwork, the floors, um, every doorknob, every hinge, uh, every door itself um, you know, needs to remain as it, as it was you know, when the house was built. Okay, all right. Now, here is a picture. I really like this picture. And this is um, of DJ and Betty Henderson. And I think Helen uh, was part of the um, association, had dropped by. But the good thing about this picture is nothing's changed really here except the paint color. You want to kind of talk us us through this a little bit? Uh, sure. Well, um, the Andersons did an amazing job uh, stripping the entire house of, um, of all of its paint as late as I think the 90s. Mm. Uh, there, nothing had been painted, um, which you know I, I sort of wish it had stayed that way because mm. you know I really love the woodwork in the house. Right. So the, everything was like natural wood in yeah, here. Everything, every, wow. every last stitch. Uh -huh. um, and um, and so that's the, I think the biggest change in the house is you know everything. It's fairly colorful now. There are pinks and blues and yellows and greens. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but they um, you know they were living you know as authentically as, as they could you know right. eating around the, the eating by the fireplace um, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And which we're standing in right now. Well, I just want to thank you for appearing on All Things New Work. Thank you. And I want to welcome you to the neighborhood. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are at the beautiful home of Dan Zanella and Stephen Horn. Now, how did you find out about the Forest Hill section? Sure. Newark. I was uh, working for the New Jersey Symphony mm -hmm. downtown Newark, so I was looking for some place close by, and Stephen was working in Jersey City, in Jersey City. at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, the concertmaster from the orchestra happened to live in the neighborhood and introduced us to Forest Hill, and so we came up and took a look around, mm -hmm. saw a lot of wonderful homes, nice. uh, but uh, we're fortunate to find this one. Okay. So, yeah. Now, what about your friends, relatives, when you said, I am moving to Newark. <laughs> How did that, that go over? Uh, my mom was a little less than thrilled. Uh -huh. um, she had she had not been aware that there were any areas of Newark that were worth really? moving to. Um, and she's from you know, North Jersey her whole life. So, so she had no clue no about idea. Okay. They were pleasantly surprised. They were very pleasantly surprised when we came, came and visited some houses here. Okay. So, what is it like living in the area? You've been here for a while. Have you seen a transition or anything 
with new well, well I, I'd say we've seen people really investing in their homes here mm -hmm. and in taking care of them and um, you know improving their homes which is a wonderful trend to see um, we're seeing more families move in now yes than I think we've ever seen here in the neighborhood which is, is fabulous to see that um, but also I think just you know I think people feel like they're custodians of this neighborhood yes which is wonderful you know and that's really what you want there's we were struck when we first moved in that there was there's always been a sense of community here you know we were out our first weekend here i think we were out in the yard mm -hmm. doing things and we had neighbors stopping up and introducing oh, themselves nice. and saying hello which was new for both of us it was very very new for me yeah okay so what were you used to well i I, before this, I lived in a condo in Jersey City, and I don't think I spoke to anybody in my building except for my exact next door neighbor You're the whole time I was there. <laughs> uh, you know, you know mm -hmm. because you, well, it was the kind of condo where you drove in, oh. parked downstairs, took an elevator to your, to your apartment. Oh, yeah. and you didn't speak to people. You didn't have occasion to speak to people. And then the very first weekend, we're outside and just cleaning up the yard. And all of a sudden, neighbors are walking over. I'm like, where are we? <laughs> okay, did yes. we move into some place you know, far away from New Jersey? Uh, you know, I love that about um, Newark and the Forest Hill section of mm -hmm. Newark in particular. A lot of people don't know about this area. Mm -hmm. And if you bring them to this area, they're like, oh, that's newer. Yeah. Do you get yeah. that too? Oh, constantly. All the time. I, matter of fact, we've had people who come to the neighborhood and they say, are we still in Newark? They, we oh, tell them we live wow. in Newark. They come, oh, I didn't. Yeah, I had no idea this was here and there. You know, they live 15 minutes away even or 20 minutes away. And they just don't know. Right, right. Yeah, but the word is getting out. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. A little bit. Absolutely. You know, more and more people. Um, I work on real estate, so a lot of my calls are people that want to live in this mm -hmm. area. Well, because it's, it's it's perfect for you know transportation mm -hmm. in and around northern New Jersey or into the city. We have you know three ways to get into the city here, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. When Stephen was working in Jersey City, that was one of the reasons that we wanted to be here because getting to Hudson County, there were multiple routes in, mm -hmm. uh, and of course proximity to all the public transportation. And all it's it's yeah. perfect for that. It, so, it really is. Yeah. It's really Very convenient. Is. Well, you know what? I just want to thank you for being on camera and hearing on all things new. But I'd like to take a look and show everyone some of the great oh. pieces in just your house if you don't mind. No, that's Can fine. we take a look? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. Let's go take a look. <laughs> sure. Thank you. <laughs>
a bit about Branch Brook Park and those gorgeous cherry blossom trees. Liz, thank you so much. You're welcome. I feel like everybody knows you or they're probably taking one of your tours. But for those people that haven't, tell me a little, about, little bit about the tours that you do and how people can learn more about them. Um, Newark Tours, uh, you can go on online, uh, plug in Newark Tours. My slogan is come to Newark and be surprised. Um, and everybody it. is, everybody is. Uh, people consistently tell me um, that they will never think of Newark in the same way again after taking my, one of my tours. And of course this is the busy time. Um, April, I'll have about 12 tours uh, during the month showing people from all over New Jersey, New York, uh, the beauties of Newark and Branch Brook Park. Now, let me ask you, what is the relationship between Branch Brook Park and the Forest Hill section? Well, they really grew up together. Uh, Branch Brook Park was started in 1900, and most of the homes in, in Forest Hill were built between 1900 and 19. 30. So it kind of grew up together, and, and it was during the City Beautiful movement okay. um, that was recurring through, a, through the major cities in the United States between 1900 and 1930. Um, um, so they are, they're really codependent on each other. Uh, uh, Branch Park Park makes a wonderful boundary to the Forest Hill Historic section, and, and of 